So the weight loss you have experienced, is it water weight or is it actual body fat? Or if you're trying to lose weight for the future, how can you make sure that it's body fat and not just all water weight? Well, I have five things to consider to make sure that you feel better about the weight that you're losing coming up. What is up, For Faith family? Thank you for tuning into the video again. If you're new around here, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel because I talk about weight loss and fat loss and that is absolutely it. My only mission is to help you reach your goals. So please consider sticking around, subscribing to the channel and becoming part of the family. So let's jump right into it. But first things first, no matter what, you will be losing water weight at first. It will level out, but that is because you're probably taking in less calories, less carbs, less sodium and sweating more than ever before. Those those four things combined are going to guarantee that you are going to lose some water weight, but it will go back up and then it'll be more of a true number. So first thing to consider is that measuring your waist is best. Evidence of that is with bodybuilders. They're up on stage. They have tons of muscle, right? They're big dudes, big individuals, and their waist are still itty bitty. That is because the waist is primarily composed of body fat and not of muscle. So if you see that go up, then you know that you have probably gained body fat. If you see that go down, then you know that you have probably lost body fat. There's not a whole lot of water retention or muscle that's gonna go in around the waist. Now it can change a little bit, but if you see minus an inch on your waist, you know that the majority of what you lost is for sure body fat. Thing number two to consider is make sure that you aren't losing weight too fast. The body does not have time to break down body fat 10 pounds a week or a, even a higher rate. If you see someone on YouTube claiming that they can teach you how to lose 40 pounds of fat in a month, the majority of that is water weight. I do not doubt uh, the ability of that person to lose that amount of weight in such a small amount of time. That's not body fat and they will gain that back really quickly because the body just simply can't break down fats that fast. If it does lose real weight that fast, which is still a long shot, it'll be muscle not fat because muscle, the body can break down even faster than fat. And so if you do lose that real weight and it's not water weight, then you're losing something that's very desirable and that is your muscle. Thing number three to consider is you can ensure that the majority of what you're losing is weight by doing a couple of simple things. Those things are make sure your diet is not restrictive in calories or carbs by too much. Of course you have to restrict yourself. You have to go less than you have in the past in order to be able to lose weight, of course. But if you're eating 1,200 calories or you feel like you're eating like a bird, then you are definitely going to be losing water weight because you just have a huge dip in calories. What I said earlier, calories, carbs, possibly sodium. You're going to have this huge dip in just things that are entering your body that hold on to water. And so of course, the majority of what you are going to lose is water weight. And then the same thing applies to carbs. If you are taking in way few carbs and you're on a low carb diet, but you have higher calories or, you know, normal calories, Carbs are just like sponges and they are definitely going to hold water. And if you take those away, they're going to stop holding onto that water. Now that isn't necessarily a bad thing. I'm not saying that low carb dieting is bad, but a lot of what people lose on low carb dieting is water. And that's why it comes back so fast. That's why you hear the stories of the people that said I lost 50 pounds and then in two weeks I gained 30 of it, 40 of it back. And that is because water weight represented itself the second they start eating carbs again. Thing number four to consider is that those scales that send an electrical signal up one leg and down the other leg, those don't really work well for distinguishing water weight versus body fat. A lot of people think that if they can start measuring their body fat easy enough, then they can step on that scale and it'll tell them that their weight went down but the body fat stayed the same and so therefore they lost water weight or any combination of whatever it is and that makes this whole thing really simple. The problem with that is that the, those scales work based off the speed of an electrical signal going up one leg and down the other leg. If it goes faster, it knows that you have less body fat because body fat will impede the signal speed. Now, the thing that also increases or decreases speed is hydration. And so the very problem that you came here and you're watching this video for is the same problem with those scales. They can't distinguish if you're just better hydrated and therefore the signal's moving faster and it'll say your body fat went down, or if you're dehydrated. A lot of people, they wake up in the morning, they're dehydrated, it'll say their body fat went up, and that is because there's less water for the signal to travel through. And so it's not real body fat. Those things are very, very deceiving. Now, when used consistently, I'm not saying they're not useful, but taking a single measurement, like if you're putting everything into, I'm stepping on the scale today, oops, I gained weight, and it says I gained body fat, oh no, that doesn't necessarily mean that you gain body fat, and 
In fact, you need at least four or five, six to see a pattern. You should never base it off a single way in. So those things don't really work and that doesn't solve the problem that you came to this video to solve. The fifth thing to consider is simply give it time. And I know that is the last thing that you wanna hear and it's not a fun thing to talk about. But if you have lost 10 pounds and you're concerned, is some of that water weight, is all of it water weight, what is it? Please don't worry about it and keep on with your foot on the throat of fat. Keep pressing down. You got this. You've already lost weight. Just chalk that up as a victory and keep on going. If it is water weight, it will go back up a little bit and it'll level out. But if you kept working that whole time, you'll end up having, having lost that fat and it might feel like you're maintaining, but you actually gain that water weight back and lost that fat. And then you'll start to see the actual weight whenever everything has stabilized and your body's gotten used to the amount of sweat you have, the amount of calories you're taking in, etc. Whenever everything stabilizes, then you'll see that true weight start to drop and you'll see real body fat being taken off. But I promise out of the 10 pounds or whatever it is that you lost, some of it is fat. And if you keep it up, more of it's gonna be fat. Don't worry about that number on the scale. Don't worry, is it water weight or is it fat? Because I promise if you keep exercising, eating healthy and getting better at those things, I'm not saying you're gonna be perfect at them right away, but if you keep on trying, you keep your foot on fat's throat, you will succeed, you will finally get out of this hole that you've been trying to get out of for your whole life. Well, that is all for today's video, guys. Thank you again so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I live off of that, the subscribers and the people commenting and everything. I just really wanna help you guys. So let me know in the comments, what can I do for future videos in order to help you more? And then what are your tips on water weight versus fat loss? How can you make sure that you are losing more fat than water weight? And how can you ensure that you find success? The best tips come in the comments section. So I would love to connect with you all there. You guys have a great rest of your day and God bless.